Hi guys, this is Mike at netbooklife.net and we're going to talk uh, today about a couple of two platforms used on, uh, on 10 inch netbooks. Uh, what we have here are two different devices. First, this, this on the left is the Toshiba NB550D, which comes with uh, AMD Fusion inside and has the Ontario APU, the C50 APU. Uh, part of the Ontario line, which is a dual core IMD uh, APU, which integrates uh, CPU, so processor, and graphics on the same chip. And here on the right, there's the uh, an Acer Respire One Education E100, which comes with uh, the popular Atom N550D processor. We're going to take a quick look at these devices in terms of performances. Uh, First of all, let's uh, see how fast each of these boots. Uh, I must add that both come with 1GB of RAM and both come with similar 250GB uh, 5400RPM uh, hard drives. So, pretty much uh, similar in terms of specs, although this one comes with an AMD platform and this one comes with an Intel platform. So, let's try and see which one uh, loads faster. So. Here we go. Also started the counter. And we're going to see which one actually loads faster. Okay, so I would say that Toshiba was a little bit faster. It loaded in just around one minute. Well, uh, the Acer loaded in a minute and two seconds, so pretty much even here, both of them loaded pretty fast. So uh, both these platforms loaded on around uh, load Windows 7 starter in around one minute. Now let's uh, go ahead and try and run a clip from YouTube. Okay, so here we are, here we are ready to, to launch uh, this, uh, this test. Uh, what we did, we loaded YouTube and we have the Avatar 1080p trailer loaded on this one, on both of them. And we're going to try and run these two simultaneously and see which one performs better. Ready, let's try and hit play. So once again the Toshiba is on the left and the Acer is on the right. Also have this performances tab there and you can see that on the, the Atom processor um, CPU load is actually just up to 90% and the movie lags a little bit so it's not really playable uh, there are a couple of skip frames however on the, uh, the Toshiba the AMD platform this uh, 1080p uh, clip actually runs smoothly and CPU load is only at around 50-60% so definitely uh, Toshiba is a little bit better in terms of playing 1080p clip from YouTube. However, both of them should be able to handle 720p clips very well. Let's see if I can change both of these at the same time. So right now we have 720p and you can see both of them run them very nice. No problem here with 720p uh, clips from YouTube or neither of them. So this was it with the YouTube clip. Ready, let's try and hit play. So once again the Toshiba is on the left and the Acer is on the right. Also have this 
performances tab there and you can see that on the, the Atom processor um, CPU load is actually just up to 90% and the movie lags a little bit so it's not really playable uh, there are a couple of skip frames However, on the, uh, the Toshiba, the AMD platform, this uh, 1080p uh, clip actually runs smoothly and CPU load is only at around 50-60%. So definitely, uh, Toshiba is a little bit better in terms of playing 1080p clip from YouTube. However, both of them should be able to handle 720p clips very well let's see if I can change both of these at the same time so right now we have 720p and you can see both of them run them very nice no problem here with 720p uh, clips from YouTube or neither of them so this was it with the YouTube clip. Okay, so let's go. Like I said, these are 720p MKV files. And both are easily Quite okay running on both of this, uh, both uh, this uh, clip. So this was the uh, 720p MKV file. Now let's try and run. Um, let's try and go for the 10, uh, 1080p. So first we have a 1080p MOV file. So 1080p MOV file. They're kind of short. They are trailers, but should uh, should help you understand if this device is actually these devices are actually able to run such types of content. And let's try and play them simultaneously. Okay, so this is a 1080p MOV file. They're not running really, really running simultaneously, but they're both. But both of these devices are actually able to run this. Uh, this kind of clips and you in both cases as you can see processor is around this uh, this part is around 20% and on the uh, atom is around 30% which is quite nice so both these devices can run 1080p MOV file quite nicely great now let's go ahead and try to run some 1080p MKV files we have here this is these are the MKV files let's see if they'll be able to handle MKV files as well as they did with the MOV, MOVs so these are the MKVs and let's see what happens here well this is nice but uh, you can see that actually the uh, AMD platform has problems with this kind of clip uh, I mean it's not really loading uh, the clip the way it should you see it's lagging there and although uh, CPU uh, usage is not 100% it's definitely higher on the AMD than on this other one I think I, I turned the sound off on both of these or towards
and you can see that the Toshiba actually has problems with uh, with sound with the sound on this device. Okay, so in terms of running uh, 1080p MKV file, you see I press pause and it's not uh, really doing anything yet. So stop. Uh, in terms of running an MKV file, uh, I believe the the atom is actually a little bit better. So that was a 1080p MKV file. This doesn't mean it will be able to play all kind of MKV files. For instance. Uh, what we also have here is an interesting demo, which is the this one, a 40 megabits per second uh, MKV file from Samsung a demo, and this one I believe I'm pretty sure it won't be able to run on any of these. I'm not going to run it simultaneously this time. Let's run them one one of a time. Okay, so it's running right now on the Toshiba, on the AMD platform. But you can see it's lagging, it skips frames a lot, a lot. And also sound is quite poor. So definitely not coping with this MKV file, the AMD processor. Let's pause it and let's try on this one. Okay, so play. Not really sure what's happening with sound here. Oh, it's working, but volume is very low. And this one again, I'm not able to run uh, to run this MKV file. Although it says it only uses 30% of the processor, so maybe there's something to do with codecs or stuff like this but definitely neither of these can run this MKV file it's pretty obvious uh, let's see what else we have here we also have a 720p MTS file straight from the camera and we're going to try this one as well okay so it's a, it's a actually a 1080p MTS from camera like I said it's one of my previous reviews I've shot with my Panasonic camera and let's first play it on the Toshiba Hi guys, this is Michael at booklife.net on papers, but it's on paper in practice you should get like 8 to 9 hours which is quite nice so actually works and you also have access to memory right here there's only Quite okay, but there are those slot, artifacts so, uh, you can uh, uh, replace the one gigabyte with the two gigabyte uh, mode despite these and artifacts right on, on this one have a couple of cooling which is quite unfortunate, let's see if the same thing happens on this other device mm. nothing actually happening here so, I don't know what's wrong, but it seems that I'm not able to play this MTS file. It's stuck on opening. Okay, playing. It says playing, but nothing is actually... There's actually nothing going on. Which is quite weird. Let's try it with... Oh no, it, go, it only can use this one. So this MTS file is not working. Probably there's something wrong with the codex on on this atom. Okay. So overall, I think the, these are all the texts that I'm going to run on this one uh, in terms of video playing. I also have some other uh, some other types of content here, but uh, like I said, since this. Uh, this machines can run uh, 1080p content both uh, MOV and like I said uh, like you saw MTS files uh, they also will handle 720p content uh, without any problem